everybody, this is Caitlin with the Twinsburg Library here for another awesome story time. And today, I hope you guys aren't tired because we're going to be talking about jumping. We're going to jump, we're going to sing, we're going to dance, and we're going to do more jumping. So you guys ready to get started? Now before we start singing and talking and dancing and reading about jumping, what's the first thing we have to do? Say hello to each other. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ready? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, you guys are good. Now, what's the opposite of fast? Slow. Let's do it. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Very good. All right. Do you think we can do it really high? Like we jump really high? Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Awesome. All right. What's the opposite of high? Down low. Let's use our low voices. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Very good. All right. Are you guys ready to warm up our singing voices and sing the ABCs? Let's do it. Let's sing it the normal way today. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. All right, we did our letters. Now let's do our numbers and start way down low. And our smallest number one. And get taller and taller as we count to ten. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And very good. Do you think we can go backwards? I bet we can. Ready? Ten fingers high in the sky. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Very good. All right. Are you guys ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, fold your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, we're going to read all about some jumping animals. Frogs! And this one is called Hop Jump by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Now let's see what these jumping frogs like to do. Here they come, said Betsy. And there they go. Hop, jump, hop, jump. It's always the same, she said. How else do you think frogs can move? Of course they move the same. Betsy watched some leaves float down, leaping, turning, twisting, always different. Then Betsy tried. She couldn't float. Oh, man. But soon she was leaping and turning and twisting. It's called dancing, she said. Have you ever seen a frog dance? Well, it was pretty silly. But along came the other frogs. Hop, jump, hop, jump. And hop, jump, hop, jump. Back they came again. Hey, said Betsy. There's no room for dancing, said the frogs. Uh-oh. Do you think there's room for dancing? There's always room for dancing, right? Now well, find my own place, said Betsy, for dancing only. Oh, how do you think Betsy feels? Sad they wouldn't let her dance. Some frogs got curious. Others went to see. Before long, their feet began to move. What do you think they're going to do? Are they going to dance with her? Yeah, soon all the frogs. 
dogs were dancing. Look, see, everybody likes to dance. All but one. Hey, no room for hopping, said all the frogs. Oh, was that very nice? What do you think Betsy's going to do? Mm, let's see. Oh, yes, there's room, said Betsy, for dancing and for hopping. The end, because there's always room for dancing and hopping and jumping, right? Now, if we're going to be talking about jumping, what letter do you think we're talking about? J, j, jump, starts with j, j, j. Very good. We've got our big uppercase J and our little lowercase J. Big uppercase, little lowercase. Big, little, big, little, big, little. You guys think you can remember that? I don't know. I think I'm going to quiz you. You guys ready? Big or little? Big. Big or little? Little. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big. Big or little? Big or little? Both of them big and little. Very good, my friends. All right, now we can't just start talking and reading but jumping. We've got to do some jumping ourselves, right? <laughs> Let's do some jumping and dancing. Now, what was the animals that were in our last book? Frogs. Now, how does a frog jump? Do they jump on their tippy toes? No, they get down really low with their bendy legs and they do really big jumps. Do you guys think you can do that with me? Ready? If you're a frog and you know it, jump like this. Ready? Woo! If you're a frog and you know it, jump like this. If you're a frog and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a frog and you know it, jump like this. Very good. Now, what other type of animals jump? What do you guys think? How about a kangaroo? Do you think we can jump like a kangaroo? All right, kangaroos start really up high with their little arms, and they jump. So we have to stand up high and jump really tall. Ready? Uh, if you're a kangaroo and you know it, jump like this. If you're a kangaroo and you know it, jump like this. If you're a kangaroo and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a kangaroo and you know it, jump like this. All right, let's see. What are the things jump? How about a bunny rabbit? Do you think we could be a bunny rabbit? Now let's see, do bunny rabbits jump really slow? No, they jump really fast. Can you jump really fast like a bunny rabbit? If you're a rabbit and you know it, jump like this. If you're a rabbit and you know it, jump like this. If you're a rabbit and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a rabbit and you know it, jump like this. Very good. All right, let's do one more. How about what's a bug that can jump? A grasshopper. So they make big, long jumps. So we're going to go on one side, and we're going to leap to the other side, and then back again. Ready? If you're a grasshopper and you know it, jump like this. If you're a grasshopper and you know it, jump like this. If you're a grasshopper and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're a grasshopper and you know it, jump like this. Awesome jumping, my friends. But you know what? All that jumping made me really tired. I think I need to catch my breath ball. Well, you want to catch my breath in my breath ball. Will you guys do it with me? Let's take a deep breath in and make it get really big. Ready? Awesome. Now can we take a deep breath in and hold it and keep it really big? Hold it, hold it, hold it. You guys are good. Can I take a fast breath? Oh, you guys are good. All right, let's take one more super duper slow breath. Ready? Much better. I feel like I'm ready for another story. How about you? All right, we're going to read about another jumping animal or an insect. The grasshopper hopped. Let's see, by Elizabeth Alexander. And this one is super special. Let's see. The grasshopper hopped into the pot, only to find the soup was too hot. The grasshopper hopped out of the pot. He had to find a cooler spot. Ready? Hippity hop, hippity hop. <gasps> there he goes. He's jumping out of the soup. Uh-oh, uh now where do you think he is? 
Who's in the stew pot now? He's in the fridge. The grasshopper hopped into the fridge. That was quite bold, but much too cold. The grasshopper hopped out of the fridge. Ready? Hippity hop, hippity hop, shoink. Oh, what's he doing? He had to put on a jacket and he was still too cold. And silly. Uh oh, where did he jump now? In the clock. The grasshopper hopped into the clock. Tickety tock, tickety tock. The clock struck three. Too loud for me. The grasshopper hopped out of the clock. Ready? Hippity hop, hippity hop. <gasps> there he is. Uh oh, what does he have on his ears? He's got ear muffs, so he can't hear because it was too loud. All right. Ooh, where did he go now? In a lake, the grasshopper hopped into the sea. The sea is too wet and salty for me. The grasshopper hopped out of the sea. The sea was no place for that fool bug to be. Ready? Hippity hop, hippity hop, <gasps> jump. Oh, what does he have around him? A life preserver. That helps him float in the water. Because do you think grasshoppers can swim very well? Probably not. Let's see. <gasps> uh oh. Grasshopper hopped onto a log. There sat a great green hungry frog. Gulp. Uh oh no! <gasps> oh. Hippity hop, hippity hop. Just kidding! Look, there's our grasshopper. He didn't get eaten by a frog. He jumped away. Uh, the grasshopper hopped into the grass. It wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. It wasn't too loud. And it wasn't too wet. And, and, and no frogs. Why, this is the place for me. Hippity hop, hippity hop. That is a very happy grasshopper. Oh, I love that story. And you know what? I've got some other grasshoppers <gasps> right here with all my grasshoppers. Do you guys think you guys can sing and count them with me? Ready? One little, two little, three little grasshoppers, four little, five little, six little grasshoppers, seven little, eight little, nine little grasshoppers, ten little grasshoppers in my yard. All right, now let's see. You guys think we can jump like a grasshopper and keep singing? Ready? Grasshoppers, grasshoppers, stopping all around me. Grasshoppers, grasshoppers, hopping all around me. Grasshoppers, grasshoppers, hopping all around me. Ten grasshoppers in my yard. All right, now we did it forward. Do you think we can do it backwards and count down from ten? Ready? Let's take them off. Ten little, nine little, eight little grasshoppers. Seven little, six little, five little grasshoppers. Four little, three little, two little grasshoppers. One little grasshopper in my yard. All right, do you think we can do it one more time and do that second part with the jumping with one little grasshopper? Let's go side to side, ready? Grasshopper, grasshopper, hopping all around me. Grasshopper, grasshopper, hopping all around me. Grasshopper, grasshopper, hopping all around me. Grand grasshopper, little in my yard. Very good, my friends. But you know what? Grasshoppers and bunnies and frogs aren't the only thing that jump. There's another animal that jumps but sometimes only when they're being naughty. What do we have? A monkey! I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got five little monkeys, and they like to jump on the bed. Will you guys do it with me? Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Think we could do it again? Let's see, how many monkeys do we have left? One, two, three, four. Ready? Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, how many do I have left? Ready? One, two, Three, ready? Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Uh-oh, how many do we have left? One, two, very good. Can I see you guys do it with me, ready? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, 
no more monkeys jumping on the bat. Uh oh, how many do we have left? Just one little monkey, ready? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bonked his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Uh oh, how many monkeys do I have left? Zero, very good. All right, are you guys ready to sing one more song and say goodbye for a day? Let's do it, ready? The library doors go open and shut. Open and shut, open and shut. The library doors go open and shut all day long. We check our books in and out, in and out, in and out. We check our books in and out all day long. Our time is up, but we'll see you next time. See you next time, see you next time. Our time is up, but we'll see you next time at the library. Awesome job today, my friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.